Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Holly. Today I have another Etsy sticker haul to share with you. I've been accumulating this over a couple of weeks. There's some stuff that has, that was from Black Friday or Cyber Monday, some stuff that I ordered after that. So lots of good stuff to share with you today. As always, I will leave timestamp links in the description box below in case you only are interested in certain shops or want to skip around. And I will have all the shops linked below as well. So let's go ahead and get into it in no particular order. First up, I have an order from Plan with Anna. This was actually, I ordered this after Black Friday because I had gotten a kit for, I had gotten a freebie sampler from her on Black Friday that I liked so much. And then she released like a coordinating kit and I was like, oh, I need to get this. So let me show you what we got. So right on top is her super pretty business card. I think you could totally use the back of this, like stick it in to a pocket or something. I think it's really pretty. And then she also has this freebie sampler, very nice and functional, just a few little multicolor things. And then first, before I get to the kit, I did pick up some of her foiled flags. She didn't have many in stock. Um, otherwise I would have gotten two of the neutral as well, but I just thought these were so basic and so pretty. And now that I'm incorporating some more foiling into my kits, I just thought that these would add really nice accents and were in nice neutral or like easy to combine colors. So I got two sheets of this like pink colored version. So that um, has the pale pink, the purple, and has that gold foil, so pretty. And then I got one sheet of this neutral one and I just think these are so pretty, so functional, really simple, but definitely will get a lot of use out of those. And then the kit I bought went with that freebie sampler like I mentioned when I had gotten that on my Black Friday order, which was my first order from her shop. I was like, ah, oh, I love that clip art. I just thought it was so fun and cute. And I believe this was like a two or three page kit and you could order each sheet individually. The, they were, it was on her, I think it was like a $2 Tuesday cause each sheet was $2. So pretty affordable. And I just got these two sheets because I thought this plus the freebie sampler I already had would be the perfect size for a personal kit layout. Um, it has lots of decorative stuff, but then also some good quarter boxes, half boxes. Um, just, yeah, I thought this would be really functional, a little less. Uh, so yeah, I really liked this for a little mini personal planner spread in the winter. Very cute. So that was it from Plan With Anna. Next up is an SPC order, Scribble Prints Co. that I had placed a little bit ago. So let me show you what I got here. First up, I bought one of her February monthly kits because she had changed her format and I loved her new format. And I thought it would be really fun to do kind of like a revisit of the new format in my monthly kit Smackdown series. But then after she released this one, she released another format. So it's like, what is the point of me doing this? So I was kind of frustrated with that, but, but oh well, it's fine. I'm not sure if I'll give it away or if I'll just do a spread like off camera or what. I actually really liked this format um, and she had it pretty affordable. That was the other reason I wanted to test it out. It was like 10 bucks for all of these stickers, but now she's added it like a something, like a fourth sheet and the price is up to like 17 bucks. So kind of a bummer on that, but let me show you what did come in this. I thought this clip art was really, really cute too. Um, so I really liked this. So these are the two extra, she calls them freebies, that cover up the days that aren't in the month. February obviously being a short month has a lot of those. Um, so these are really cute. And this one kind of goes right underneath this uh, bar, which I thought was really nice to kind of continue the design. And so this is the main sheet where it has the covers for the top of the month, has your vacation strips, has some flags and asterisks. I just really liked this clip art, I thought it was really pretty. And then here you have your sidebar, stackable sidebar, some days um, to block off or decorate, and some event stickers. And then here you get your date uh, squares to cover up the dates. You get a bunch of mini icons, some cute little uh, holidays. And then here you have some more event stickers. You have some do, which I thought would be nice either for build dues or if you're a student, you could use those for assignments. And then you have your stackable sidebar headers. So I thought this was a really cute little mini kit. Um, so I'm kind of bummed. I think what she added basically was like the mini events, which I never really liked. So, oh well, but anyway, I let me know if you still would be interested in seeing this or you know, if that would be useful to you. But I thought this was really cute. So I had picked that up. And then the other thing I picked up was 
I think this was her Hello February kit. I did not pick up the full kit. This was back when she was releasing separate deco sheets. I'm honestly not sure if she's still doing that. Oh, and in this packet we have the freebies. So she had her little holiday card from the SPC team. Those are all the SPC girls, very cute. And then the freebie, I think this matched the November colors, even though I ordered it in December, but these are cute colors. And then she also included for like a little holiday bonus, two little um, sticker labels that you could use on gifts. And I thought with her, like with clip art from kits she had featured. So I thought this was really, really cute. Um, I'll save those for next year, holiday season for sure. So all I picked up from this Hello February set, I actually just picked up the glitter sampler and the deco sheet. And I just wasn't in love because like the full boxes on the kit were just plain glitter and I just thought that was way too much glitter. But I really did like this deco and I loved the colors with the pinks and the like muted purple. I just thought this was really, really pretty. So I thought it might be fun to try and do either like a personal spread or I'm trying to decide or maybe using the glitter headers do like a plan as I go just with these two items and then bring in other multicolor stuff that I own. So I thought that might be like a fun way to show how you could like stretch um, pieces of kits then and but like use your multicolor stuff because I have a lot of multicolor stuff that I want to like commit to start using some of in 2017. So thought this was very pretty. I just really like these colors. So just picked up those little elements. So that was it from Scribble Prints Co. as well. And next up we have an order from Piper Paper Company. I believe this was my Black Friday or I think it was Black Friday weekend order at least. And I have had this for a little while. I just haven't included it in a haul yet. So right on top you can see this huge freebie sheet. She was doing this um, I believe for Black Friday, it's her multi-color deluxe sampler freebie and has a lot of really functional multi-color stuff. Um, very nice, I'll hang on to that for sure. And then what I picked up was from her were two kits, so I will show you these. And the first thing I picked up was her But First Coffee kit. I, did, I got the mini vertical weekly spread kit uh, and I got it in the premium mat. Her premium mat is really nice, but I think she has discontinued using it because it, she was having a hard time cutting it. And I do notice that problem just right off the bat. Like some of these stickers are kind of hard to peel up, which is kind of consistently a problem with premium mat. But um, I totally understand why she did discontinue that if that was like a frequent problem but it is really, really soft and nice. So I thought the colors of this kit were super cute and I hadn't really seen, I really liked this clip art, but really hadn't seen a lot of kit or a lot of shops use it, which really surprised me. So um, I picked this up and it's her mini kit. So I'll show you what's included in that. First up, you have your icons, some mini checklists, some cute little appointment boxes, bill do is a habit. Some of her functional deco down here. I love her functional deco. I love the lazy day, love the date night, little happy mail. You get a cute little movie marquee and your weekend banner. And then the second page includes your all uh, seven of your heart checklists. It has two, um, these are not full boxes. These are actually washi uh, strips here, just as an FYI. So those, and they're kind of differently sized. So those are washi, and then you get six half boxes and then four kind of quarter boxes, and two of them are scalloped, which I think are really cute. And I like this girl clip art, I just think it's nice. And then on your next sheet, you get your bottom washi, and then you get some headers here. You have a full week's worth of to-dos, you have a full week worth of todays, and then you have a next week and important. And then you have some of your little things and you do get a full week's worth of meals and then some other little extras. And then the final sheet has your full boxes and one ombre heart checklist. So it definitely is a smaller, oh, and then you do get an extra full box here. So I guess you do get the full eight full boxes. So that's nice. So it is definitely a functional mini kit. It's on the small, probably on the smaller side because you don't get like little things headers and you don't get like some of the extra sidebar stuff that you might need. But I think this is really functional and I definitely, I think I might do like a plan as I go spread with this. I'm not sure, or maybe use it in my own conjure because I really do like this clip art and the paper feels really nice. So 
That was this kit from Piper Paper Co. or company. And then the second kit I got was actually one of her personal kits. And this clip art is called Celebrate and I got this one on her regular matte paper and I love her format for her mini or for her personal size kits. I had not ordered them from her yet, but I think they are so functional. Let me walk you through them. You get eight little lists. So if you wanted to include one on every day, you could. You get um, to-do headers. You get some other little headers that you could use. You get some half boxes there, some icons, quarter boxes, some cute kind of like almost like mini um, full boxes. They're like half box size, but they're decorative. Oops. And this is on her matte paper and it actually feels really nice. So I think her matte paper is a good option still. Is this really her matte paper? It feels like premium matte. So that's nice. Um, anyway, uh, you get some little things, a bunch of functional deco that she made slightly smaller for the personal planner. So you have like your lazy day, your payday, your coffee cup, all very cute. And then over here, you have some more functional stuff. You have your weekly ombre, a bill due, some other little lists. You get some appointment labels. And then these are washi strips that you incorporate. Um, they're all kind of different sizes. So you can see there like the different sizes. So you can kind of use those to intersperse through your spread. Then you get some stitched quarter boxes, which are really nice. Some little things, some scallops. You get four more to do. So if you wanted to put a to do on every day, you could. A habit tracker, weekend banner, and some flags. So I think this is totally functional. The only thing it's really missing is any sort of deco. And especially since these are a little bit more plain, you might want something like that. But you do have these kind of decorative washies and full boxes that I think it'll still be a really, really nice spread so definitely excited to try this out. I think I got cut off when I was telling you guys about the um, Piper Paper Co but basically this was just six dollars and I think it's a super functional personal kit um, especially for the price six bucks for regular matte paper and I definitely would recommend checking these out because I think they're really functional so that's it for Piper Paper Company. Next up is a super exciting order this is the Two Little Bees grab bag and she did like it was kind of misfit grab bag but and kind of overstock she combined them and she said they she took out the sheets that were like true true misfits that you couldn't use and just in like a quick look through that i did everything looked really perfect and it looked really nice so i it did come in really adorable packaging it was like a big like box and it had that like what's that shredded paper stuff called at the bottom? And it was like all laid out, but I, it came while I was away for the holidays and normally our neighbor like picks stuff up for us, but apparently she didn't see this, I guess. And so it had rained on the box. Thank goodness that the stickers were in cellophane and were totally undamaged, but I was like, oh, oh no. And then, um, but yeah, so the box kind of got destroyed, but luckily the stickers were okay. And even this note card kind of dried out. This was just, this got wet too, but it dried out and is okay too. So it came with this note card. And it also came with this extra roll of Simply Gilded Washi. I do already own this washi and don't see myself using like a full another roll of it. So I'm gonna save this one and give this to a friend or in a giveaway because I don't need two of them, but I really do love this washi. This grab bag was an amazing deal. It was 25 bucks for 25 sheets of stickers. Two little bee stickers typically retail anywhere from like three to five dollars a sheet. So, and plus you got the washi. So I thought this was an amazing deal. So even though I already had a lot of two little bees stuff, um, I went ahead and picked this up and I can incorporate it with sheets. Like if I haven't used the kits, I can incorporate it with those. And I also always hang on to my two little bees leftovers because she's one of my favorite shops. And I love just pulling in her stuff to like smaller spreads as well. So I can incorporate some of these with some leftovers I have as well. So let's get into what we're working with here. And if you are interested in finding out about her grab bags in the future, definitely join her Facebook group because she uh, posts about it there. And I'm sorry to Nia, who is in the Facebook group and who I just is a planner friend. She wanted me to do a like full unboxing of this, like so that she would get my real time reaction. But I was so nervous about the stickers being ruined that I already kind of flipped through them. So, but I haven't looked at them in a little bit. So we'll see if you guys can get the, the excited two little bees squeals here. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through what I got. First up is this adorable deco sheet. I had already owned this, but I used a lot of it and I have some kit, kit leftovers. So I think this will be awesome to bring in. Um, it has these planners, some circles, flags, hexagons, little coffees, very, very cute. And this is glossy. These stickers are a mix of glossy and matte because she did recently introduce matte stickers to her shop. Next up are glitter flags. I truly cannot tell you what is wrong with these. These look freaking perfect and I love these. Beautiful, perfect, usable colors. I've, I've been loving like quarter box sized things in general lately and I think these are really functional. So definitely excited about that. Next was her Black Friday freebie that she collabed with Hello Petite Paper on. And I haven't used, I have one of these already and I haven't used it. So I think actually I can combine the two and really stretch it into almost like a full kit. Like I could do a full plan as I go spread then. So that's perfect. Then these are half boxes for a kit I have not used yet. I think that is great. It'll help stretch it out. Um, I think this was like her, she released this one over Black Friday as well. So here you can see, I can see like a little bit of the challenge. It's like cut like a little, you know, hard to pull it off. Um, but everything else looks great. So yeah, so that is awesome. Then this is a glossy sheet that is a deco to a kit. I'm pretty sure I have and I haven't used. It was one of her mystery boxes. So I will bring this in as well. I love this. I love the typewriter. I love the chair. And then here's this really cute little functional sheet. I don't know what kit this goes to. I don't think I have this kit, but I love this little functional sheet. It has like a camera, a movie night, a laundry, a house. It's all this really cute cutout stuff. Um, really, really nice. I don't know what kit this is for though. Let me know if you know below. Oh, and then this one, oh, it was the love story kit and I didn't pick that up. So all of these kind of match, so that's nice. Um, so we have the icons and then this is the headers that match and it's this love story. And here I can see the slight problem. There's like a, a thing at the bottom that kind of got like a little, I don't know if you guys even be able to see that. There's like a little ridge at the bottom, but like otherwise it's freaking perfect. So this is awesome because I didn't have this kit. And here are the little things that go with that kit. And these ones are on matte, but you can't really, I think once they're all in a spread, it doesn't really matter. So very nice. Can use all of those together. Then this is a sheet from one of her personal kits. Um, I do, I did use, uh, I had this kit, I can't remember if I used it already or not, I think I did, but a lot of these colors I could bring in with other spreads as well. And here are washi strips, these are on matte, and I did order this kit so I can use these to stretch that a little further. Really, really cute. And then this kit I didn't order, and this was her Happy New Year's kit. I just already had New Year's kit, so I didn't order this. But besides the like New Year and maybe the clock, everything else you could use um, you could use this for like a birthday spread. You could use this for a lot of different stuff. And it has the great glitter flags, some really pretty deco, very nice. Then we have on matte paper, some ombre, uh, not ombre, just regular full box heart checklist. And I think that matches the colors of this kit. Yep, so I could use those all together as kind of like a kit, a mini kit. Oh, and then this one matches that as well, I think. I think this one intends to match that as well. It says the best is yet to come. It has the balloons. This is really, really pretty. A really nice little, this, this page in itself could be like a little mini kit for like a traveler's notebook spread. And then this coordinates with a kit that I do have but have not used yet. Um, it has the flags, um, long flags, short flags, circle dots. And another sheet of full boxes, which is awesome, because that's always the thing that's like hard to stretch across kits. Um, and these were so pretty, I love these. So definitely can use these. And then I already have this sheet as well, but I mean, it's perfect and I love this kit. So excited about that. They're really uh, like a lot of really cute flags and deco at the bottom. Then I don't have this sheet yet. This I think was from the Hello Gorgeous, but I didn't pick it up. Oh coordinates with this. Yeah, I didn't pick this kit up, so that's awesome. Um, it has pinks and blacks and a lot of functional stuff up top and some cute little deco down here. I love these planners. So these are great. This is also glossy. And again, I really can't see what's wrong with this. So this is a good grab bag item. These are really, really nice. Um, and then here are the full boxes. These are just great, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. 
And the thing I like about Two Little Bees is that because her kits, I always think of them as a lot more white space kits. I think even if you only get like two pieces of a kit, you can make it into like a white space spread in your personal planner or like my plan as I go style and pull in some other stuff. Cause they're just not intended to be like full, no white space spreads. I think of them as much more decorative than a lot of kits. So that I've kind of sworn off in general buying, um, grab bags just cause I don't like, I have so much stuff and it's like, do I really need, like if I have a, if there's a kid I like, I, will have just bought it basically. Like I just, I buy what, you know, the kits I like, but Two Little Bees, I have a lot of kits I haven't used yet. So I thought it would be good to incorporate some of those. And I, like I said, I just think her stuff really works. You can use it like on smaller scale as well. So, and it was such a good deal. I couldn't resist it. Anyway, let's keep moving. Um, this sheet, I think I have like one freebie sheet that matches this print, but I didn't buy the full kit. So this is awesome. You get some flags, some circle stuff, hexagons, and then I also got the washi sheet, which has some deco at the bottom. Love this. Really pretty. Oh, and then I got the full sheet of clipboards. These are so cute. And you can use these to like make little lists. And she has some cute little um, arrow ones at the top. These are really nice. And everything is cut great. So very excited about that. And then this kit, I believe I have not used. It was like a little mini kit. Um, so now I can combine this with that. Very, very pretty. Oh, and then here are some more items for the kit I recently got. And um, we have the little things in glossy and the washi strips in matte. So yeah, this will be great. I can definitely stretch this across two weeks now. So that is perfect. Very nice. And then the, oh no, there's, God, there's a lot in here. Then I got the um, Cyber Monday full boxes. Um, I had bought this kit as well, um, but now I can stretch it a lot. These are really pretty. So really, really pretty. And these are on matte paper. Uh, and then this was like one of my favorite kits ever. I did do a spread with this kit on my channel and it was like this little mini two page kit. This is in matte and I love this kit so much. So I'm so excited to have it again. It was like perfect for a little personal size spread. Really, really pretty. So that is it for the two little bees grab bag. Like I said, if you're interested in uh getting one in the future, definitely join her Facebook group. I think this is an amazing deal. Um, 25 sheets for 25 bucks, especially if you're just getting into two little bees and you don't have a lot of her stuff. This is like a perfect deal. So to check out her, a perfect way to check out her shop. So check that out. Love that. And then next up, we have an order from Planning Roses. She is a Canadian shop. She has a great YouTube channel as well. Um, she's like Jenna XO Rose, I think. Uh, she's one of my shops, or one of my favorite shops for some of my functional stickers. So I went ahead and picked this up on, I believe, Small Business Saturday, because she was running a sale. And I just picked up some of my favorites. And she also included this freebie that was for Small Business Saturday. Really pretty. Um, could incorporate this with some like functional stuff and make a little mini spread. Very cute. And so then on to what I picked up, I got all of these in glossy, which is an upgrade. Um, I think it's worth it though, because I really like her glossy a lot better than her matte. And what I got here, these are the little mini TV stickers. I know this is gonna shock you guys because I have like multicolor everything, but I realized I didn't have any multicolor TVs, which I thought was so strange. So I picked these up. I thought the little retro look was cute. I liked that they were kind of the cutout style as opposed to a circle icon. And as always with Planning Roses stuff, I love her multicolor stuff so much because she incorporates so many neutral and muted colors. I say that all the time, but I really don't like when shops just have like all brights and all Roy G Biv stuff. So I love how much, uh, how many neutral and muted colors she incorporates. And then I restocked on my quarter labels. I do still have some left on um, the sheets that I have. I think I have like two of these, but I've used up certain colors like completely. And this is a good, I just think these are a great basic. I love the kind of delicate little like outline that she includes. And I just think it's a perfect size for like marking down a workout or something like that. So I definitely get a lot of use out of these. And I got all three in her basics color. She also has seasonal colors, but I'm stocked up on those. And I just really like the neutrals um, and like how many muted colors she has again, once again. 
And then I picked this up. This is a new to me sticker. This is her wash bedding sheet. And it has cute little beds at the bottom and at the top it says wash bedding. This is perfect because, um, you know, I hate changing the sheets, but it's if you have a cute sticker to make you do it, uh, it will help motivate you. So that is good. And then I got her wine time stickers. Uh, you guys know I love my wine time stickers if you watch my channel a lot. And I think hers are some of the cutest. I just love the little cutout wine glass with the uh, script wine time. And again, perfect variety of colors. So since I was placing an order and I've actually used like about half of my sheet, I decided to go ahead and pick this up. And then finally I picked up Oh no, not finally. Um, but next I picked up two sheets of her workout stickers. These are some of my favorites. I use these a ton. My sheet is pretty much done. Um, I had one sheet of these and I've pretty much used it up. So I decided to pick up two of these while I was placing an order. And I just think these are really fun. They're the perfect size to kind of mark down something and they look really cute when you put them on the diagonal. So I picked up two of those. And then finally I picked up her little bike stickers. I thought these would be a fun way to mark down spin classes, even though spinning is like inside biking. And I also do have a goal to get like a bike in 2017 so I can go on some bike rides with my husband. And I thought these would be a cute way to mark those down as well. So that was it from Planting Roses, all sorts of functional stuff there. And next up is a new to me shop. This is another Canadian shop. It is White Deer Stationery. And she has, I've seen her in a few different people's plan with me's, but I hadn't bought from her yet. So I took advantage of her Black Friday sale to try her out. It did take a little bit to get to me due to Canadian post office and like being during the holiday season. Um, but I finally have them and luckily I ordered like wintery kits. So still plenty of time to use them. So the, oh, first up we have her freebie sampler right on top. I think this is so pretty and I love this little like um, snowflake movie marquee. How fun for winter. And then you have some other really functional stuff and some cute little deco. This is really cute. Could go with a lot of winter spreads. And so first up I got her um, let it snow kit and I got this on her premium matte paper. I picked up the full kit plus she had this like add on full box. I just thought this was so cute. And honestly, her kits are super affordable. It was $16 US for the full kit plus the add on. So yeah, so that was really nice um, in, in the premium matte paper. Let me go ahead and show you what's in here. So like I said, this is the full box. I just thought this was so cute and it was like a buck extra. So I was like, eh, we'll add it on. Um, and I'm not sure if I'll use it with this spread or maybe like with leftovers or something, but I thought this was really, really pretty. And then here we have your deco. I think this is like the perfect amount of deco. I don't like when there's an entire sheet of deco because I don't use it, but this is like the perfect amount. You get a weekly list, you get some half boxes and um, a habit appointment and a canceled. And then here, headers. So you do get the full week's worth um, for all three headers. You get some sidebar, you get another habit tracker, some mini icons your weekend banner and your little things. You do have the full seven meals if that's something that worries you. Her little things are quite skinny. So that might be a good thing or a bad thing depending on how you view it. For me, it would probably be a little hard for me to write on them, but I think they're um, still, like they're still very functional. Just a little skinnier than some shops I've seen. Then we have the Let It Snow full boxes. I thought these were really, really pretty. One thing I will note is that I cannot tell if the clip art on this is grainy or if the printing is grainy. And I would normally assume it's the printing, but then if you look just like a spoiler alert, here is the next kit, um, how solid these colors are compared to how like grainy these are. I don't know if it'll show up on camera, but in real life it's really obvious. So it makes me feel like that's the clip art, not the printing but I'm not sure. So I, that is one thing I would note with this. Um, the cut lines and everything are really good and her paper feels really nice, but to me it looked kind of grainy. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that, but it could just be the clip art. So I don't want to judge her based on that. But I did want to, I feel like compelled to note that to you guys. So you get the full boxes here. And then the next page is your washi sheet. You have this beautiful bottom washi and then some matching printed washi with the kit. 
And then finally, you have your full box heart checklist. Really simple. I like how simple these are. I think they're really pretty. Um, I like that they don't have lines on them. I think this is just really pretty and really subtle. So I think this will be a really nice winter kit that just kind of... Um, it's a very, it's like a very simple format. You don't get like a ton of quarter boxes or flags or things, but I think it's a really nice basic format that's really affordable. And then I picked up another kit from her. And this is her mini weekly kit format. And I added on the date covers because it was like a buck. And her mini kit is $9. I also got it in the premium mat, $9 like US. And so, and then these were like an extra dollar. So here are the date covers that coordinate. I just thought this they were really pretty, so I went ahead and picked them up. And then in the mini kit, you get these full boxes, and I was not planning on like buying two kits, because normally I don't like to buy two kits from a shop I haven't tried before, but I was obsessed with this clip art, and I just thought it was so, so pretty. I was worried it was like too fall, so that's why I only got the mini kit, but I kind of regret not just getting the full kit of this because it's so pretty. So you have all eight of your full boxes here. Love this quote, cold night, large sweater, warm tea, good book, soft socks, and chocolate. Sounds like a perfect night to me. You have touches of glitter, but it's not overkill. And then here you get your eight half boxes. You get some, you get four heart checklists. You get a few little icons and you get to do today headers and your weekend banner. And then on the next page, you get your washi. So you have your, um, a bunch of like matching washi and then you have your uh, full bottom washi. I think I will probably use this more as like a personal kit because for me, this would not be, her mini kit format is not big enough that I could do a full Erin Condren spread with it. But I thought this would be really, really cute, like a cute way to in the personal, cause you can always cut this washi down to fit the personal and it could be a really decorative spread, so. Very, very nice here. So that is uh, it for White Deer Stationery. Glad I tried out a new shop. And then the final shop in this haul is Shop Jessica Hearts. I just picked up a few functional items from her. She did this release of glitter flag quarter boxes and I loved these so much. You guys know I'm trying to bring touches of glitter in. I'm warming up to glitter. So, and these are just like the perfect size and I am so obsessed with quarter boxes lately that I had to grab pretty much all of them. So what we have here, I got the gold gray one. The gold in this one is, it's a very um, silvery gold in my mind and uh, but it's really, it's really pretty. So I think these are just so, so nice. I always love when she has these in her kits. I think they're cute because they don't really require an icon and they still look really decorative. Like sometimes if you just have a plain quarter box, it feels like you need an icon or something to spruce it up. But here with the glitter flags, I think these can stand on their own and look super cute. And then I got the um, gold rose ones. So these are gold glitter with the rose tones. Again, I just so pretty and I do use a lot of pink spreads. So I thought these could be brought into a lot of different spreads. Then we have the um, copper glitter in the rose palette again. So this is more of like a rose gold glitter. Um, I don't know why I'm doing that. It's not foil, but very pretty. I got these all in glossy, by the way. Then this is the gray one again, but now in the rose gold glitter. Really, really pretty. And then finally, I got the multicolor version. And these ones are more, um, the glitter is a finer glitter. It's not as chunky. Um, but either way, I think these could be, and it's like a more of a brassy gold than a silver gold, but very pretty and could be brought into a lot of different spreads. So that was it from Shop Jessica Hearts. And that is it from this haul. All right, guys. So here's the full spread. I really am excited for everything I got. I got some cute kits and a lot of functional multi multicolor stuff. And I think this is a lot of fun. So let me know down below if you have tried any of these shops or what shops you're checking out lately. I always love hearing from you guys. Give this video a thumbs up if you do like longer Etsy sticker hauls so I can know to keep them coming. And definitely subscribe to see more because I'm sure there'll be more stickers in the new year. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will be back soon with another video. Bye.